Best, I think, overall performance, yeah. Um, you know, I thought offensively we were really bright with the ball and had really good ideas. Uh, and then I thought our, our, our defensive shape was fantastic and limited them to not too many chances. But um, they were dangerous on a few, and uh, we'll share those, uh, those up. <clears throat> how, how much did that early goal just allow you guys to be comfortable and play the way you wanted to play tonight? It, it was huge. It was something that uh, uh, myself and the coaches really stressed to the guys was uh, TFC has never had to come come back. They've had the lead in all their games. Uh, so really wanted to see what, what they would be like if, if they were under the gun. And, uh, you know, maybe they'd have to come, come out a little bit and we'd have a little bit more space to play in. Can you, can you talk about just the energy that the team showed through 90 minutes? Even even after getting the 2-0 lead going into halftime, it didn't seem like there was any foot coming off the gas pedal, so to speak. Yeah, I mean it was it was it was one of those games. I was trying to uh, you know think of some substitutions uh, if any needed to be made, and it was tough because I felt like everyone had the the right energy. Uh, obviously, Chris Winger went down with a little bit of a groin issue, so we put uh, Rich in, and he did a fantastic job coming in. Uh, but everybody had energy tonight, um, and I was I was just really pleased with that. And then we you know kind of wanted to make sure, wanted to get Javi to come out and and hear the fans, you know, give him a standing ovation because he was fantastic tonight. Uh, and then. Uh, uh, my other substitution for uh, Devin uh, was just to get bring him in and work and finish out the game, and because Olmos had really been threatening all game long. The play of Luis Gill um, was really phenomenal tonight, kind of all over the place. Could you assess what you saw from Luis? Yeah, you know, we just kind of challenged him to to make sure we were were getting him around the goal. You know, we wanted him to. Uh, feel free to get in into the attack more, um, and then just make sure we're mindful of our shape in the back. But we were we, we challenged Luis to get into the into the attack more today, and he was fantastic. <clears throat> and and Sabo, now three goals in, in two games, probably starting to get rolling a little bit for you guys. That's got to be big for you. Yeah, I mean he just he he was fantastic tonight. He he was you know I think it started with his defense. I mean he was playing unbelievable defense and challenging for every ball in the air. And I thought that just brought him into the game. And, um, you know, again, when Javi gets into dangerous spots, that really gets his green light for our forwards to they get excited because they, they, they know they're going to be getting a quality ball. And tonight you uh, got a lead and held on to it. How good does that make you feel? Uh, really good. <laughs> No, you know, I just thought it was a, a mature performance from the guys. Um, you know, I thought uh, Kyle was fantastic and really being disciplined and, and making sure we weren't getting caught on any counterattacks. And, you know, I thought our back line was in really good spots. Um, so I thought it was just a really mature performance from everyone. Did you get any feeling at all that Sabo may have had some extra incentive giving things that other coaches might have said this week? I don't know uh, if they are, if they're saying it. That's keeps. I hope they keep saying more of it. You know, <laughs> um, but uh, you know, Sabo is a competitor. You know, and he always wants to go out and prove people wrong, uh, and show people what his talents are. And, and tonight we saw it. It almost had the feeling like you guys were a veteran team. You guys familiar, play with each other. This Toronto team's brand new. It almost kind of had that feeling like you guys smelled blood in the water and really let's take advantage of a team that might not know how to play under these circumstances. Um, you know, I mean, I think you're right. Um, and that's why we wanted to come out and get that first goal, kind of get them out of their rhythm, get them feeling something that they haven't felt. Um, uh, and a, a, and a credit to the guys for coming out and being aggressive. And then still, you know, coming out second half, being aggressive, getting that third goal, uh, thought was really important to, to make sure that they did didn't sniff a, a chance. Anything else for Jeff, guys? Uh, Kansas City, uh, going back to Sporting Park. Mm -hmm. Initial thoughts on, you know, you get TFC this week, a lot of talk. You're going to have a lot of talk going into this next game as well, going after, uh, you know, after what happened at MLS Cup last season. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we really haven't started looking at them just yet, uh, but we know them pretty good. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be another big, big game, big challenge. Um, the guys have been stepping up, uh, and I think we're going to have to go in there with um, being ready to battle.
eight points through four matches, and I know this was a very difficult stretch on paper that you guys talked about at the start of the year. Did you feel this club had this start in them? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I did. I mean, I'm really pleased with it. Um, but even more than the points, I think the points and all that stuff will come. I'm just really pleased with the spirit of the guys right now. Uh, they're fighting hard for each other. They're fight. They're challenging on 50-50 balls, and they're you know. And if you have that, you can build around any build on anything. Um, so I'm really just really proud of the guys' spirit right now and fight. And you know, I think we can get a little bit better towards the end of the game, uh, closing it out. Uh, and that's encouraging, you know, that we can get better. All right, guys. Anything else for Jeff? Hey, Jeff, the guys in the south stand want you to have one. Oh man, I need one of them. <laughs> nice. Hold it up. Yeah, heck yeah. It's <laughs> awesome. Love it. Thank you very much. Appreciate that.